Hey everyone, Reed here. Today I'm excited to tell you that the September release of Power BI Desktop included an entirely new set of themes for Power BI. What is significant about these themes is that each theme not only changes the default color palette, but it now also changes other attributes such as font and font size and more. Now even more exciting is that the default theme got a major overhaul too. The most important features are listed here but I want to call out that I'm really happy that they increased the font size across all the visuals and made the font color even darker and more readable. Plus, those wonderful expanding collapse icons in the matrix tables are turned on by default as it should be. I could go on about these additions, but let's hop into Power BI and see how they look. So I have in front of me the Power BI template that Amanda has graciously let me use over from Microsoft. And what this will show us is a quick and easy view of each of the colors as I toggle through them from the theme selector up here at the top. So if I go over to home and go to switch theme, you will see all the options in here. And you can notice that the default one that's already been set in here does have a larger font here at the top, plus a lot of other stuff that gets included. Those plus and minus icons for the matrix table um, is automatically increased in there. Both the axis for the Y and the X are larger. So it's a much nicer theme. And honestly, I do like the additional color palette as well. And then all of these other ones in here, you can kind of test out in this file, uh, which will be available for download. Um, but it just lets you swap around with them and see the other types of color palettes available. Now, a lot of them do look really nice and have various attributes that they change, but a couple of ones that I want to call out. If we actually come down here and go to title, you'll notice that the background color changes. So what this showcases is the fact that a lot of Power BI reports, if you want, can include a background on top of the background color, and it's a great way to showcase that. Now, another one, and honestly, probably my personal favorite, is something that I'm really happy that they now include. So if you come down to Innovate, you can't really tell just by looking at the color palette here, but watch if I select this. Dark Mode. Some of you might have already seen that I created a dark mode template myself on my website, and now this lets you set that automatically. I love, love the fact that this is now included by default in Power BI, and you can see that the colors work very well. They chose more high contrast colors to help offset the black or the dark gray background, um, and it just looks really good. So I'm very happy that this got included. And you still do also have the other themes available in here. If you go to more themes, there's all the original ones in there. Um, Classroom is still one of my favorites that um, I previously used, um, but you have all the original options, all of these new options, and then of course the option to import uh, from the themes gallery or, or anywhere else. But I love that these new themes now include a combination of formatting attributes plus that color theme as well. Uh, it's just allowing for much more variety in the design of reports kind of out of the box without having to customize or build your own JSON file. And that about covers it for this video. If you liked this video, please click or smash that like button below. And if you have anything to say about this video, or if you have a favorite theme, please point that out in the comment section below. Plus, let me know if you have a suggestion for a future video. And if this is your first time on my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click or smash that subscribe and notification button. And otherwise, I will see you in my next video.